Oh, there is some damage in the back and the side of the ship. On the top section. Whoa, we're getting shot at. Holy crap. How did he spew so many bullets in that little ship? Wow. There's a lot of undiscovered asteroids here. Okay, good. Oh, we're back home? Yeah, I gotta find those iron asteroids. Well, we get, because we didn't bother doing it here, huh? <laughs> no, we didn't. We went into space and then left. <laughs> Apart from quick trips to and from the moon. From uh, from the uh, space base to here. All right, hold on. I gotta stop because the Wi-Fi is being weird. Oh, okay. That was my fault. I shut off the base by accident. It was like a second to me. I don't see anything out here other than the trading station. Good thing there's no collision damage. <laughs> it's going to suck when they add collision damage and they don't tell anyone. <laughs> I thought there is collision damage if it's PvP. There is, but only between, say, bases and vehicles or vehicles and vehicles. Not between, like, asteroids and vehicles. Vehicles and ground. Just just imagine the first person who uh, who realizes they added true collision damage. They're going in their their capital vessel like we are. They can't slow down in time. They're like, oh well, I'll just bounce off. <laughs> Half their ship is gone. It's like Return of the Jedi. <laughs> yeah. Smashing into the planet, the big super star destroyer. All right, you take that one. I'm going to take this deposit over here. I think these are links. What do you mean? Like, keep digging, we'll, we'll meet each other. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yep.
We got just over 1,500. That work? All right, this one out here is the furthest most one. It is 20 kilometers from our position and it's next to a pirate base. Now, if we wanted to annoy the pirates, this is where we would do it because it has the best loot that I've found in any pirate base. It's the only orbital pirate base uh, in the starter system. It's the only orbital pirate base I know of as well. Um, but it's the one for the mission. So to do the mission, you have to bug the pirates? Yeah, to do the mission, uh, it's the... Uh, Totally overpowered mission where you're trying to get root beer and oh. yeah. Um, yeah, you're trying to get root beer. That's the whole point of that mission. Um, but uh, the the root beer brewery has uh, has had their recipe stolen so they couldn't ship the latest shipment to the planet. So you uh, have to go up there and the, the mission, it was stolen by the pirates. And so you have to go to the pirate base and uh, and steal it back. There is an epic loot crate in there too, one of the purple ones. Although it's not purple, but it's it's in there. Actually, it might. Well, no, it might be purple, but it, it it's the same color as the core, and it's right next to the core. And I uh, blow the core, blow the loot. Yeah, but I uh, actually I don't know if you can blow the core in it because this may not be the one I'm thinking of. No, it is hidden station. Yeah, you see, it's a uh, admin station. Yeah, you can't blow it up then. But you can still mine the you can still mine the asteroid part of it. So, what you have? Say what? What's on that asteroid? Uh, some of everything: a restroom, copper. I see copper. They may have changed it, but uh, it, it, it had a little bit of everything on it at one point. It's not like the remnant that has like almost like all the rare stuff. No. Um. It's more like, Prome it's like Promethean Pentaxid Copper. I don't. I, I was wrong when I said a restroom. I don't think there's a restroom, but like Promethean Pentaxid Copper Neodymium, I think is what's on it. Something like that. We sell the green, so you probably thought of a restroom. Do you think we ought to get some magnesium? I mean, we have. We need, we need some rockets. Let's see what's in the. Uh... The thing is, rockets. Do rockets use magnesium? Yeah, they use magnesium and pentaxid, don't they? Or is it magnesium and promethium? Yeah. Well, yeah, I think it's magnesium and promethium. Yeah, we have over 16,000 of magnesium powder, but no raw magnesium. I don't see it anywhere. Let's go ahead and grab some while we're here. Yeah. We, we don't have to get the entire thing if we don't want, but... Fill up your SOV and then... Yeah, just one SOV load of it ought to be good. Magnesium's not nearly as useful as other things. You don't use it in blueprints. You don't, you know. No. You left your uh, headlight on. Right, right. I parked over here. Maybe I left the headlight on then. <laughs> didn't open for me, but you passed right through it. <laughs> it opened for me. I heard it open. I didn't see it open. Yeah, I think before we leave the system, we're going to want to get a little bit of everything we can. You know, fill up with uh, every resource we can. Even the common ones. All right, I'm full again, and this time it's completely full of magnesium. I'm like halfway, two-thirds. 
Yeah, I just had a whole bunch that I could just go right through. I think magnesium is really light, so it can hold more. Yeah, it's also an electrolyte too. I've got almost a thousand of it on my on my SOV, so. I got a little over 700 right now. I still got room. Yeah, I've got like 900 and 941. That's it. 939. Now I gotta figure out where the ship is. We got over 1800. Yep. Oh wow, there's a uh, Polaris station way out there. I don't know I don't know if that's the beer factory or if that's the uh uh what do you call it? The Inferno Club. No. <laughs> All right, I'm good to go. I'm just ignoring it though. I'm heading towards the nearest resource asteroid. Nineteen kilometers away. Good time to take a nap. Just look how far away from the planet we are. There's a little asteroid, but it's all glittery. From in, old, in old Imperion, you would never go this far away from it because you'd try to get, you, you'd get far out and then it, you'd hit the thing that says you have to use a warp drive to go any further, but it would keep going further away from the planet, but you'd never get closer to any other planet. <laughs> still say that when you keep going further out now? I have not reached that far yet, but I haven't, I... Uh, I haven't put a gravity cannon up yet and tried to utilize that to see how far out I can go. I think the gravity cannon even still works. It does because all it really does is you, you set the gravity, it stacks a whole bunch of grav gens and makes you fall that direction, you know? 
You put it on the base or you put it on the SCV or it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter, but I, I use it on a base um, and have it like what I would used to do is I would have it on a base, have it pointing towards like the planet and the moon. And I would uh, shuttle up to the gravity. Canop- now, theoretically, I could put teleporters on them and have you teleport to the gravity cannon and then have it launch you out. Not that it would do any good since you might as well just put a teleporter at your destination anyway, but. That's fun, huh? This was back in the times where you could actually see how fast you were going when you were like just your person, not in a vehicle. And, uh, and what I did is I, 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 at one point I had a gravity cannon facing a specific direction, facing one of the uh, distant planets. And I had like five or six like booster uh, grav gen bases that were just gravity generators that were on the way there. So as you would go past them, you would start going faster and faster and faster. At one point, I uh, got my character up to 5,000 meters per second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it, it kept going. It hit the thing, and then it was like, you can't go any further. The whole screen was shaking and wobbling and all that. And <laughs> I, I eventually ran out of oxygen and suffocated. So <laughs> You went flat. Yes. <laughs> All right, we got an iron asteroid here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think this one, I think these two that we can see on this side are connected. There's more on the right, too. I think. Getting disconnected again. Well, we've got over 4,000 iron right now. <laughs> yep. Actually, 4,000 is, is, is a whole stack. Yeah. What I've been doing is going ahead and... Uh, I've got one of the uh, constructors. Actually, let me get both of them doing it. Turning the iron and titanium into uh, hardened steel blocks. And then going ahead and... uh, That way, I'm going ahead and throwing them into the workshop as we use, as we mine. I think that's the planetary remnant off to our left. You may not be able to see it yet, but I see a uh, no. alien thing four kilometers away. Oh, I see a new marker, and it's like four AU away. It's one of my markers, I think. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to get close enough to detect, to discover it here, but I, yep, there it goes. Yep, there it is. 
You like how they changed it from ALN to LGC? Mm-hmm. Of course, that kind of makes it confusing when the golems are legacy, so. But, yeah, I, I, I don't see how the golems are legacy, but. All right, this is a cobalt deposit. We don't need that. At least not right now. Or do we? Man. Yeah, let's go ahead. We've only got 10 cobalt ores and 78 ingots. For this alone, we're going to need 870. So let's see. All right. all over the place. On yeah. Let's see. So between the small shipyard and the Leviathan, we need 870 for the small shipyard. And the Leviathan, we might as well just go for the second Leviathan and not have to worry about building, you know, and upgrading it at all. The second Leviathan is going to require 2,627. So we might as well, might as well go ahead and uh, and get all the cobalt we can. Yes, sir. This is the part of the game that gets a little tedious is resource gathering. But at least the way that we do it, it goes a little bit quicker than than mining by hand. And uh, it's a little bit more interesting. So according to the system map, there's supposed to be two iron one silicon, one copper, one cobalt, one promethium. We've already mined out the two iron, I believe, and one cobalt. The funny thing is, it doesn't mention magnesium, and yet we found a magnesium asteroid. Yeah, you're right. And we mined that out too, didn't we? Or we got a, a lot of it. We got a lot of it, we didn't mine it out. So. There's something not driving. It probably has something to do with being an older save on a newer version of the game, I think. Yeah, it's possible. On. I think we're good on silicon. Yep, which means that this last one out here is copper. Well, we've already found a copper. One and one. Silicon, copper. Yeah, I don't know. It could be anything. Because <laughs> right now we've got a silicon, a copper, a promethium that we can mine. And a magnesium. A little extra. I hope it's iron. We need more iron. <laughs> okay. Or titanium, but it's not going to be titanium.
Now, they're supposed to be iron asteroids of the Kai Moon sectors, but I don't know if there actually are anymore. But I think once we discover what these last couple of asteroids over here are, um, if they're not iron, or if they are once we mine them out, uh, we ought to... Uh, make preparations to call leave it. the system. Yeah. And and then I guess we could call it an episode and uh, leave the system first thing next week uh, with uh, Broman. Yeah, it'd be our first inter-solar system trip. We got plenty of AU for it. And I'm being disconnected again. Yep. Looks like that was a Prometheum asteroid. Yep. One more. Yep, we got one more 14 kilometers away. Oh Too bad there isn't just rock asteroids that you can just get rock. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could mine, like, the ones in orbit around the planet that look like they're rocks, but they aren't. Yeah, that way you can make whatever you want with it. It'd be really nice if uh, if they were, like, actually mineable. Even if it was, like, one giant mineable thing that looked like multiple rocks but wasn't, you know. And you can put your base on it. That'd be cool. Yeah, that would be great. Build a base into one of those asteroids. Pirates can do that. Why can't I? I mean, you can. You can mine into a mineable asteroid and make a base in it. But... Yeah. But I wouldn't want it to be uh, anything that had ore because it's going to be all weird looking after you clear it out. I guess you could fill it in, right? Why do you think the pirates don't mine the ore? Does the filler work on asteroids? I have no clue. Hmm. Spend a minute. there yet yes get out okay <laughs> You can tell we're on the edge of the galaxy if you because when you look like straight up and off to one side, there's a very few stars. Then if you look the other side, you see a whole bunch of stars. That's sort of how it is in real life. Silicon. All right. So that's all of that. We don't need any more silicon or copper uh, let me take a look at the iron we've got 3110 and for the small shipyard we need a total of 15,000 so yeah we're gonna have to get more iron and titanium in other systems the rest of the things we already have, all the silicon, copper, all that, we already have what we need, except maybe sathium. No, we've got the sathium well, we need. We need. Yeah, that's the swap between titanium and sathium. The demand for sathium is much lower now. Yeah, we only need 300 sathium and we have 400, so. Um. All right, I guess we need to decide which system we're going to be going to. I say we just try to go to the closest one, which looks like it's e it's going to be either Very Gamma. I think Very Gamma is the closest one. Yeah. 8.2. Yeah. Definitely. 
Definitely very gamma. Might as well hit very gamma, then Markinchink, and then as over there. We need like little kids to pronounce all these. They can probably do it. Yeah, no. What sector? What like whose territory do you want to get close to? Um, they got territories up. Uh, yeah, I, honestly, it doesn't matter to me. Um, I mean, a Reza. A uh, Ray Rizila is in uh, Xerax territory, but I'm thinking once we hit those three close ones, we might want to just, you know, try to head towards like Polaris or somewhere a little less dangerous to start with. Um, I've always wanted to do the whole space base attack thing. Yeah, but we're, we, we don't have, we're not going to be building a base in space, I don't think. Uh, other than the shipyard, so we can build the right. And I was planning on building that in ar around Pirorova, in the Elian system. So wherever we happen to be, when we have all the resources, I guess. Well, because here's the thing: we're going to build the shipyard, and then we're going to go gather more resources for the Leviathan. So I figured we'd just keep Elian as our home system base place. Okay. And, you know, Pirirova is a great place to put it around because it's a, you know, temperate planet, even though it's technically a swamp, but, you know. All right. All right. Um, while we're here, let's just go ahead and, and head back to the planet and land on our base platform. That way we can go ahead and make preparations there for... Uh, Final preparations for system, for leaving the system. Okay. I think it's funny that the uh, the pentaxid tank can hold 600 volume, but you can only actually put 598 in there because they are 2.4 each. And so you can't fill up that last two volume. They might adjust that so it comes out even, maybe. I would make it two each. That way you could put... 300 in there all together and you know I mean right now you can put 249 oh so it's maxed up right now yeah yep 100% unless they allow you to put uh Maybe you could put more if the Pentaxa tank was on a base. Does it go bigger? Maybe? No, it's the same. It's the same Pentaxa tank. So if I'm not mistaken, they took out the 15 uh, AU limit for small vessels and just made it so that small vessels can't go inter interstellar. So. Yeah. yeah that's the one I meant for interstellar or inter. Yeah. Solar system. That's good. But SVs are still the fastest moving ships in space compared to CVs. Oh, yes, definitely. Because if we were in a big CV, we'd be there by now. <laughs> you mean a big SV, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and as the the CVs max out, I believe at a hundred. We're only able to go ninety six because, well, <laughs> because we're yeah. This was able to go a hundred before we started getting a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, considering it's just under ninety, it's not bad. Considering how much crap we got on here now, and we got like 
seven vessels docked to it plus everything in the cargo. We're going almost 100 now. Oh, yeah, we're in the gravity field, huh? Nope, I pulled up the uh, the 600, uh, uh, what do you call them? The 600 hardened steel blocks that I was making and threw them in my workshop. Now I think we're getting into the gravity field. Because I'm still getting like zero max speed. Yeah. Okay, hitting the atmosphere. So the command center is still in there two clicks away. I'm just holding down X and it's leveling out with the planet. Okay, now descend. In your own shoot. Or not. No, we're good. We'll probably get a drone base attack the moment we touch the command base, the command center. Possibly, yeah. I mean, there's a minigun drone right there. But our defense tower should have taken care of it. It's just turned off. All right, let's go see. It's a minigun drone on the ground. Yeah, I know. It keeps respawning there. I don't know if it's live. I guess it is. No, it's dead. Yeah, the um, turrets did take care of it. Yeah, our ba I just got a thing saying our base was under attack. Oh, good. Southwest. Yep, I see them. We've got at least three, if no, we got at least four drones incoming. And they're firing. Great, they were shooting through the rock. Hmm. 
Yay. Now I'm hearing continuous fire. There it goes. Oh, you died? Yeah, I died. I was hiding behind this rock here, and they were shooting through it. All right, let's go harvest the garden. Looks like it's turned off. It may have turned itself off. It may have run out of fuel while we were gone. Everything's grown. Well, no, the oranges aren't grown. Honey's not grown. Everything else is. Yeah, this is why I think we need to uh, put an orbital space farm. Do that. That's cool. Basically, this with solar panels in space. Well, yes, that's exactly what it is, except for it's got, like, full solar panels, and you aim it towards the sun, and... Uh... Mm. That's... This base is under attack. What? The hydroponics. What? The hydroponics is our. It's not a uh, private one. I didn't see that. But we're under attack again. Yep. Same direction. Yep. Southwest. West. Two rocket drums and one mini drum, mini gun. Yeah, I was going to say this one shouldn't be as bad because it's, uh, because it's, uh, uh, the hydroponics bay, not the command center. It hasn't had as many, uh, as many attacks, so it shouldn't have escalated as high. Too. Yeah, that's what I mean. That wasn't terrible at all. Yeah, I didn't die. <laughs> oh, and the foundry is apparently under our name as well. I could have swore I made the, oh, I made them public. Now that's what happened. What happened? You can't make bases uh, public anymore. What? They're either private or factioned. Oh no, that's why. Yeah, that's why all of them are 
uh, our faction. So yeah, we're going to be getting a lot of, uh, you'll, you'll get a lot of drone base attacks with this setup now. So you're going to need more defense towers. The defense towers will need defense towers because they'll get attacked too. Right. <laughs> Bring everything I get it into the the uh, CV, the commander base. Oh yeah, no, that's definitely what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I don't think we have anything else here that we need. Let's double check the damage on the command base. There is um, some damage on this CV, just superficial. That's weird. The base has the the this place has fuel, but it's not powering on. Got generators, it's got I don't know why the generators were just off for some weird reason. Okay, um, it says the CV is undamaged, 0% out of... There are damage blocks, I'm fixing them right now. But no, there's no damage devices. Just blocks. Yeah, it, it said there wasn't any damaged blocks, so... Must have been less than a fraction of a percent. I'm ready to end it whenever you are. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, we lost. Crap, we lost all of our uh, rations. Uh oh. Because they were in a uh, thing over here, and it's all gone. So basically, the rear and the port side of the ship had just damaged blocks. They weren't severe. And they said yeah. a couple punches with the repair tool popped them back out. Little Bondo. Yeah, but we lost all of our rations. All right. Let me head up to the bridge. I need medical. 
Yeah, I could use a little medical myself. I got four uh, rations on me. I got one on me. A couple? Oh, I'm good for now. I will, however, need... Let's see, I want to replace this... And then I think there was like a plant over here or something. But uh, yeah, this is what all the rations were in and it got blowed up. And we had like 20 something rations, so. We, we can make more. Yeah. Or find more. All right, well, I guess that's going to be it for this episode. I hope everybody enjoyed these episodes. Frag always, always has his light out and shining right in my face. <laughs> uh, if you enjoyed them, hit that like button for us. And uh, if you want to see more Imperion Galactic Survival, go ahead and subscribe to Fragalot. Know it all DM and what what was it? Broman Broman something. Links are in the bro, links are in the description. Links are in the description down below. And uh any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section down below as well. So uh as always, I'm Know It All DM. I'm Frag a lot. And y'all have a good day now.